There is a major development in an especially tragic DWI death case that has been stalled for more than a year. An Albuquerque woman was suspected of driving drunk and causing a crash that killed her teenage niece, but police couldn't make the case. Today, however, they finally were able to file charges. Katie Kim, who exposed this story on special assignment last month, is here tonight with the latest. 406 days. I have been waiting and praying for this day to happen. It is a small step toward justice in her daughter's death. After more than a year since Star Olson was killed in a violent crash, the driver was arrested today. Christina Montoya, the girl's aunt, was booked into MDC for vehicular homicide by DWI. Finally, getting what she deserves. Justice is starting. Last month on special assignment, Star's parents told News 13 of their agonizing year filled with empty holidays and milestones. Happy birthday to you. Star would have recently celebrated her 20th birthday. She died shortly after her 19th. Star and Christina were on I-25 headed to El Paso when police say the car flew down an embankment just south of TRC. Star was killed instantly. Christina was airlifted to a Texas hospital after complaining of injuries. By the time the airlifter uh, airlifted her, they started getting close to El Paso. They start detecting, you know, the odor. Emergency personnel say they smelled alcohol on Christina. Bottles of booze were also found at the scene of the crash. But investigators say they didn't have the proof to charge Christina with drunk driving. Here's why. Police said there was no time to conduct field sobriety tests. And because she was flown to another state, investigators also said they couldn't secure a search warrant to draw Christina's blood for possible evidence to use in court. Were you drunk that night? No, at all. When we caught up with Christina last month, she was on trial for drunk driving in a case that happened two weeks after the crash that killed Star. She was convicted of DWI in the second crash. Montoya says she wasn't driving drunk in either case. But according to this just filed affidavit, Christina's medical records from the crash that killed Star show otherwise. Blood tests taken by hospital staff hours later show Christina had a blood alcohol level of a 0.14, well above the legal limit. Officials say medical records are not admissible as evidence in court because of federal privacy laws, unless a defendant allows it. According to this affidavit, Christina willingly signed a waiver to release her records. There's so many emotions, happy, joyful, sadness. But Antoinette says the strongest emotion is relief, knowing her nightmare is almost over. Nothing's going to bring her back to me, but at least some accountability is starting. On special assignment, Katie Kim, KRQE News 13. Montoya remains jailed on a $100,000 cash bond because the crash happened in Sierra County. She'll have to make her first court appearance there.